Top Recruit is brought to you by Corky's Test Control. I'm here alongside Daniel Mendez, senior catcher for Ayala Baseball. Daniel, you're taking your talents to go play Division I baseball next year. Tell me where you're going. Uh, St. Mary's College in California. And how did you decide? You had other offers. What made St. Mary's feel like home? You know what? My sophomore year, uh, I took a visit, and right when I stepped on campus, there was a bunch of oohs and ahs, man. You know, it's, it's just a great campus overall. Small campus, little private Catholic school. And just, I just saw their baseball upcoming, and then the coach had me, and then also their academics had me, you know, that's what kind of sold me too, you know. One of your teammates will be headed there as well to play with you, Kyle. Tell me what it's going to mean to you to have uh, a former teammate on your team as well next year. You know what, it's like baseball is a full of chemistry, you know, like you need players you know, form bonds and all that, and I know Constance that's like 10, like at least 10, so. You know, having that connection with Kyle is be, it's actually going to be a lot easier because I'm a catcher, he's a shortstop, so we're going to have that, you know, that connection. So it'll be good. Are you guys going to room together? Yeah, we have really? to. It's a must. That's so cool. Speaking of brotherhood, talk to me about the brotherhood that the game of baseball has given you. You know what? It just made me see that I have more brothers outside of my family. You know, I have nine, 20 and just made me four bonds, bonds with people that I never imagined. So I'm blessed to play baseball. When you look back on all your time spent playing high school baseball, is there a specific moment that you think you'll always remember? Oh, shoot, probably when I was younger, we went to Puerto Rico and we had a double hitter to win the championship. But here at Yala, man, I'll cherish every moment, everything. You're still in the midst of your senior season. What do you guys have to do to end this one on a high note? You know what, just go out there and just not play the other team, but play against the game. You know, and just go out there and have fun. It's a, it's baseball, it's a ch children's game. Explain that to me. You, you said you have to play against the game. What does that mean to you? You know what, at the end of the day, it's like, you don't play against the other team, you play against baseball. You know, like, if you're, you know, going through a slump and you get out of it, let's say you hit a line drive to someone, you know. It, just baseball kind of, you know, it has its weird tolls. So at the end of the day, you're playing against the game. You know, you got to defeat the game. How do you stay mentally fit in order to play such a mental sport? Actually, <laughs> like superstition, you know? Mm -hmm. I get prepared probably the morning of the game, and I just imagine, like, okay, how my bat's going to feel, you know, what I think up there, and I also think about counts. I also, like, picture myself before the game happens. Like, I visualize, see what, what's going on. Take me in depth through a pregame ritual for you. In depth, you know, I always say, put on my batting gloves. You know, I say a little quick little prayer, and I say a quick prayer for my team, and then I like I kiss my cross, and then I go out there and have fun. So I do that every day, every, every day before a game at least. And then I have my piece of gum, and I chew it throughout the game. And then that's how I know I feel good. Speaking of other superstitions, you guys are all bleaching your hair. Talk to me about how that was decided. Um, so right now we're in like a little bit of a slump. So we all decided what can we do as a team to kind of spark it up, you know? So I think one of our coaches and one of the players decided bleaching our hair. So right now we're kind of like bleaching our hair as a team, but that's good, you know? 20 years from now, we're all sitting down talking about it. We're gonna have like a good laugh about this. So. Talk to me about what you think sets you apart from other catchers. Probably, shoot, there's a lot of good catchers out there, but I say probably my memory. I feel like I'm good with my memory. Like second inning, I know whether it's like the batter hit it. Mm -hmm. I know what like like what pitch he doesn't like. I can see him if he's standing outside the box, inside the box. You know, like where I see his bat path. So I feel like that really separates me kind of with other catchers right now. Is there one specific piece of advice that a coach has given you that's always stuck with you? Just play the game. Just always be happy. Play the game like it's your last game ever. Just go out there and leave everything on the field. Is there someone in particular that you model your game after? Oh shoot, two people actually. With catching wise, uh, Yvonne Rodriguez, Pudge. You know, it's my favorite player of all time. But I'm also utility, so Kike Hernandez. You know, he can do it all. So I kind of base my game off of him. 
do you sit and, and watch them and, and what do you take from them? I take that, you know, Kike, he's, he's a funny guy, you know, he's when he loves bananas and that's kind of funny because, you know, like he's enjoying the game, like he's 16 again, 12 again, you know, and then Pudge, man, he has a bulldog mentality, he wants to go out there and just compete, and that's what I love about both of those guys. How would you describe your mentality? My mentality is go out there, compete, but also have fun with the nine guys around here. When people hear the name Daniel Mendez, what do you want them to always remember? That the guy played his heart out and had fun doing it. Lastly, Daniel, what does the future look like for you? Right now, the future, the future looks good. You know, everything is going the right path. I have my teammate going to the same college as me. I'm having fun. I'm healthy. You know, I'm, my my brother's behind me, so I'm happy. That's awesome. Well, we're excited to follow your journey and your career, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.